So this is a 1985 Yamaha Trimoto YT125. A little backstory on this is I actually sold this one a couple years ago, well, maybe about a year and a half ago. Um, at the time, actually, I bought it. Originally, I had another matching 125, and then also two uh, Yamaha 203 wheelers. I had four of these together, all together. And then ended up selling this one, and then the guy that bought it was kind of liquidated some stuff. Ended up buying it back with a couple four wheelers and stuff too, a couple Sportsmans. But this thing was super clean. So these things are a 125 two-stroke. They're air-cooled motor, five-speed transmission, automatic clutch on them. Kind of unique. And this one's super clean for what it is. Plastics on it. So none of this has ever been restored. So a lot of time on these Yamaha plastics, they'll get kind of some scaling to them. This one really doesn't have any scaling at all um, or any fading for that matter either. We'll just walk around and kind of show this thing off here a little bit. So both the 125s that I had, both had this little Terralinga ranch sticker on which I have no idea what that is. Yeah, these are still the original decals. A couple little scratches on these here, but this thing still just kind of one start or one pull and starts right up. So I'm also planning on selling this as well. It's kind of a bait, maybe try and like bring a trailer or something like that. I've never experimented with that at all. I thought this one was maybe clean enough to really try that and roll the dice on it a little bit. Or if somebody wants to jump on it before then and buy this thing, definitely hit me up. Yeah, let's kind of walk through this thing. So up here you got kill switch on off on these. Um, there's only a rear brake on them. There is a little oil level low so these are actually oil injected as well so this oil light will come on if the oil level is low they do have a headlight no high or low beam it's basically just headlights on all the time on these guys no suspension at all so they ride kind of rough these things are kind of fun because they're super light because there's just no weight on the front end of them so they wheelie super easy so pull start only on it I'll pull these fenders off and kind of show you the motor and everything else on it too. There's a little seat latch button right under here on this. You pull that guy and then the whole seat and rear fenders will come off. So I have not done any clean on this one or anything yet, but here's the motor and everything. So these motors are just set real far back in here, which is kind of neat. So yeah, it's an air-cooled motor, uh, 125cc. These also did come in a 175 two-stroke. On the 175s they had front suspension on I think they were actually a little bit bigger chassis as well um, here's our oil reservoir on this they're all chain driven down there so chains back behind this little cover pull start right there air box is right here on it <clears throat> everything's still intact on this one there's the stock little pipe kind of unique really kind of curls around there and then back to the muffler side oil injection right down there on this thing as well as the handbrake we've got a foot brake down here actuates the rear so that's just all cable driven drum brakes drum brake mechanism is back behind this cover on this thing gas tank up there behind the shrouds these things only hold i think like maybe two gallons of gas well i'll start it up here we'll see what it sounds like and then maybe we'll go for a little bit. all right one bull didn't even touch the throttle Put these rear fenders back on the seat we'll go for a little drive on this thing these things are pretty quick for what they are i mean for a 125 two stroke i bet top speed on them's probably like 45 ish or something which feels plenty fast on these with no suspension or anything especially with the front being so light on these you just hit the throttle at all especially in first or second gear and it wants to pull the front end off the ground pretty easy they got a pretty good amount of torque for for this motor all right, let's go for a drive. 
hard to steer these things with no front weight on them, especially when it's a little slick. on this thing. Brakes work really good on it though. Go down this little hill, climb back up it, probably pull the front end off the ground. That's this thing. Headlights work on it. They're pretty fun little machines for what they are. They're obviously not as popular as the Honda, but I think they're pretty underrated. Oh yeah, if you guys are interested in this one, oh, looks like we died there. Oh well, I might have to adjust that idle up a little bit. Yeah, if anyone's interested in this one, hit me up. I'll always follow along, so it's probably gonna be an auction video on this or something down the road.